It's week 11 of the 2022 season. And we have Stefan Gilmore, who's had quarterbacks numbers all season, coming down with seven picks. It's the Colts and the Eagles, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners are four of their last six games. And the offense last week, they had things humming. If you're a defensive player, you may get overshadowed a little bit, but you're really buoyed by what your offense is doing. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, even with all the games we have broadcast together over the years, partner, seems like every time we see something new, and kind of get that feeling we might get something unique here in this one as well. No two games ever look the same, are they, Brandon? Because there's always a couple little details, standout performances, big plays to help set each game apart. That makes every one of them entertaining to be a part of. season has hit high gear and off we go in week 11 on EA Sports. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. As Indy's offense takes the field for the first time, we take a look at Matt Ryan, top 10 all-time in passing yards, playing his first career season outside of Atlanta. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception, didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They go to the ground again with Taylor, and not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little. Touchdown, Colts! Michael Pittman with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Colts need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered. He just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact of the next-gen stats. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Now for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 21. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kenny Moore, and the Colts are going to take possession of the football. So they gave up the big play on the touchdown of the first drive, Charles, and now they were looking for a big play of their own. Instead, they throw the interception. And Brandon, they came right out and went for it, trying to push the ball downfield. But remember, the other side ran a few plays before their big one, so they got a little patient there, and it cost them. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle, here's Taylor. 
And a short gain down to about the 33. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. They had great starting position to begin the drive, and now they look up at a third and five. Staying on his feet. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him for. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Right back to Sanders on first down. Takes this up just short of the 30, but he was able to avoid that earlier tackle. Nice move. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. Taking it right down Broadway. The 20. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. Yeah, this is what we mean when we talk about flipping the field, having your offense look at going a long way to a short way after he makes a play. His ability to do that, Evident, able to make the catch there, keep his momentum going, and just continue downfield. Yeah, the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They'll run with Sanders, and he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, his third rushing touchdown of the year, and the Eagles have cut it back within a score. Elliott good with a PAT, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. And they're going to speed things up here. On second and 11 now, Ryan. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On third down, Ryan. And he'll find Pittman. And he is going to have a first first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. 
Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Ryan will throw again. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now that sack backs Ryan and the Colts up a bit here, facing a third and long. Looking to throw. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will do it for this first half. Past the halfway point of the season, and now past the halfway point of this game, we skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And we welcome you back now. Side Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Boy, that was pretty. Sidestepping defenders on his way to a pickup of nine yards. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Two yards, good enough for a first. Now Hurts going to keep it running left. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Hurts. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that will be incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions. And it was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. The field position game, such an overlooked pass to Charles of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. On second down, it's Taylor. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15, first and 10. They run once. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. So you're down by six, hoping your defense would make a big play. I think this qualifies as a big play made. Without a doubt, and when you first see the ball free, your first instinct is to just fall on it. But he obviously wanted way more than that, and that's exactly what he got, taking it all the way for six. And now they can lead it with the point after. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. On the return from his end zone, Rodgers. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Indy offense. 
It's at the line and set to go. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now, the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Play action. It's Ryan. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. Back now in Indianapolis. And we've got a dandy here. A one point game as we begin the fourth. They go play action now. Ryan. And this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Ryan. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. Touchdown, Indianapolis. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and ten from the 25. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Throwing his hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Understanding he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. And Pascal's got it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Throws this one right side to Pascal. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Back to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. They'll look to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And they'll get him to the ground. And he has another first down at the Colts 13-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. He's at the 50, the 30, 20, 10, 5, and this defense has broken it open as they return to house for six. 
This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room where they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So not only the combo, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by two touchdowns. A little over 80 ticks to go. A four straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they've got it with a first down. Hurts throw taken in by Pascal. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Back to throw now on first down. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Holding offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now back to throw. Flushed it. Hurts fumbles it. And the Colts pick it up. The big foul up. He's at the 30. 10. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone. Sealing it with a defensive touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. That's what they've done all game long. McLaughlin for the extra point. He's got it, and the lead stretches to 35-14. The scoop and score are always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. Hurts incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. So following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. He'll look to throw. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. And since they still have 10 yards to go, they'll just say, let's roll this over to third down and decline it. Let's just be honest about it. If you can't get them off the field on third and 10, then something's wrong with your defense anyway. No sense in taking that penalty. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. This time has run out of this ball game. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. Yeah, Brand, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Colts, their playoff chances take an uptick as they move to 7-4. And, and they'll get to stay home again next week as the Pittsburgh Steelers come to town. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they're going the wrong way as this will drop them to 3-7 and seven now in the year. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers.